Okay, I call this uh, uh, press conference uh, to inform the public of the uh, scheme by Barista National in this coming election. Uh, the, uh, the way Barista National is doing now, you can see they use false news to create some doubt in the right. Yeah, not all will believe. They only need to target maybe 2% of people who have doubt in our integrity. We have seen uh, so many suits filed by uh, Pakatarai MPs, either Yama Promat, uh, Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng, who have won two cases against Putusan, YB Mahfuz Oma, and uh, this Joho, uh, this uh, MP from PAS, uh, uh, Salah Huding Ayub. Uh, and many others, uh, and juga uh, DAP Chairman uh, Surah Kapal Singh. And uh, they are now also going <coughs> further false news against uh, me, especially New Straits Times in the recent article, and yesterday using a uh, pro-Barisan uh, blog called pisau.net. Uh, they are all false, false, totally false, uh, but they want to create, hoping to get one or two percent. We discovered that uh, there are the, the, the 70,000 defamation suit, I mean, uh, award that was given recently to uh, YB Mahfuz Uma, <laughs> to uh, uh, Salah Houdin Ayub or Sabra Kampau Singh. It's not a deterrent. It's a very cheap, uh, we call, uh, way to try to get votes from the people. Because um, AMNO and Barisan National has stacked out huge sum of hundreds of million in this coming election. And so, uh, if we win 10 cases, uh, 70,000 people, uh, 10 cases are 700,000 This is a uh, uh, pittance, very small sum for Barisa National. So they have done again this against me, and now I think uh, our strategy should be uh, to lodge police report, to take criminal action against those who are liable, and also file suit, civil suit against them. And today I'm going to lodge a report uh, against uh, PSAO.net for writing false news and criminal defamation against me and YB Nga Koming. Uh, in one of the articles, it stated that uh, we received bribe in the form of 10,526 acres of land from the Ahmad Rahmat Menteri Besar Kelantan, Tok Guru Ni Aziz, as a condition for us to agree to Tato Sri Niza Zamaluddin being appointed as Menteri Besar of Hera after 2008 general election. The contents of the said article uh, are totally false, 100% false. I think nobody in the right mind. Uh, even, uh, I, I hope uh, action can be taken immediately against the person responsible for the article under Section 8A. Uh, there is an offence to publish false news under Printing Presses and Publication Act 1984 and uh, Section 499 of Criminal Defamation of the Penal Code. I also like the action to be taken against uh, Biro Kebajikan uh, Persatuan Malaysia Islam Perak Kami, headed by its chairman, Muhammad Jeffrey Amin Abdul Hamid, and Barisan NGO Perak for calling a media conference when they lodged reports with the police and the MACC regarding the said article, with the intention to further spread the false news and commit criminal defamation against us. I would also further like action to be taken against TV Tiga, uh, Tiga Suku, they say. For every news we regard the same article at its 8 p.m. prime time news yesterday uh, with similar intentions. Uh, so uh, under the uh, criminal law, I think uh, we have to uh, imprison. I hope uh, I would like to see and test and see that whether the uh, police and the public prosecutor office uh, is professional in its conduct when uh, <coughs> when any offence is uh, committed, they will uh, take criminal action. Uh, for publishing false news under Section 8A for printing presses, uh, 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 printing presses of publication and I think 84, it's stated here that those who are guilty uh, will be uh, imprisoned for a term not exceeding three years and a fine not exceeding twenty thousand or both. And uh, for the purpose of this action, malice shall be pursued. In the report of evidence showing that prior to the publication, the accused took reasonable measures to verify the truth of the news. So, the bawa undang-undang pencetakan dan juga this 
printing presses dan juga publication act uh, niat jahat adalah dianggap ada di sana melainkan ada tindakan yang telah dibuat untuk menanya ataupun to verify the truth I never been uh, contacted or uh, neither has uh, YB Inga Komi be contacted by the blogger Pisau Net to say that uh, whether such documents is uh, true or not whether uh, Yang Amat Perumat the Menteri Besar gave us such length or not never so they are presumed guilty with such clear case if the public prosecutor is not going to take action then we know that uh, we cannot even trust the AG's office that is uh, being an uh, office that is supposed to be independent created by the federal constitution uh, so uh, I'm going to launch a report uh, shortly after this and uh, this is the, uh, the article uh, in the uh, blog and uh, they are of course okay uh, and uh, so I'm going to launch a report shortly I just uh, give you a copy of this. Sorry, this is article. I want this extra. I will give you a copy of my police report. Now I'm going to log